Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm in downtown Fort Myers, Florida this weekend to exhibit at ArtFest Fort Myers. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This weekend I'm here in Fort Myers, Florida to exhibit at ArtFest Fort Myers. It's pretty early on Friday morning, which is setup day here at ArtFest Fort Myers. Uh, because the show takes place in a downtown area of Fort Myers, which is kind of congested, they have a staged setup time where you arrive at a location and then you kind of caravan with a few other artists at a time into the downtown area at a specific time, according to your booth number. Uh, just kind of makes it easier to set up and then the uh, show is on Saturday and Sunday. I'm especially happy and thankful to be here exhibiting this weekend because last weekend I didn't have a show at all which is very unusual for me this time of year. Typically in the winters I do a show every week in Florida from about New Year's all the way through the beginning of April and then the rest of the year I go to other parts of the country and do usually two shows a month. So to have a week off in January is very unusual for me, but with COVID going on, there are so many cancellations that happen. So it's just about load in time for me. So I'm gonna head back to my van, get ready to go and set up for the show this weekend. Alright, so it's the end of the day on Saturday now. I just closed up my booth for the day. It's supposed to get stormy tonight, they said, so I battened down the hatches on the booth a little bit extra. Uh, it's been pretty windy throughout the day today with the clouds coming in and out. There was a steady stream of people all day, mostly smaller sales. I didn't see too many large pieces leave the show, but that's not always an indicator as to if a show was really successful for people or not. A lot of my pieces are larger too, and most of the time I end up delivering or shipping my large pieces because people don't have the means to take home a large piece of artwork with them in their smaller cars. So just because you don't see a lot of large work leaving the show doesn't mean that people didn't sell large work because a lot of it needs to be delivered. Now, ArtFest Fort Myers takes place the first weekend in February. So in 2020, when the pandemic started, ArtFest Fort Myers was able to go on because it occurs before the pandemic shut everything down in March. However, the committee that puts on ArtFest Fort Myers was really proactive in helping artists and the art community in general during the pandemic. They were very helpful in sending out emails with information about things like the Paycheck Protection Program, the EIDL loan and advance, and then as art shows started to open back up again, they sent out emails to artists uh, with ideas for how to redesign your booth so that it can be more social distancing friendly. And those are all things that they really didn't have to do. Their show happened last year, remember? So the fact that they went above and beyond to help support the artists really went far with a lot of us, I feel. So I just want to, again, give credit where credit is due and say that ArtFest Fort Myers did a, a really great thing over the course of the year in dealing with the pandemic and supporting artists and the arts community in general. So I'm going to head back to my hotel now. Uh, I've got my bike behind me. I don't think you can see it in the frame there, but I'm going to ride that back to the parking area. Hopefully there's no rain during the show tomorrow. Um, there's supposed to be a lot of rain, but this is Florida, so you really never can tell what the weather is going to be like until it happens. Just like that, the rain has started. Um, it's kind of a moderate rain right now. I've had great shows in the rain before because I think what happens is, you know, people who come to an art show in the rain are coming out because they have a specific intent to come and see the show and purchase artwork. So I'm just kind of hanging out inside my tent, uh, waiting for the rain to pass.
So it actually looks like the rain is already just about past. It's only been about 20 minutes or so. You can see behind me, the, uh, there's some blue sky out that way, which is the way the weather was coming. So um, we should be clear here really soon, uh, quicker than expected. One good thing about the rain is the top of my tent was starting to get pretty dirty and dusty from the last few shows, and the rain that came through just kind of washed that all off, so now I don't have to clean it as immediately. All right now, so you can see the sun came out and stayed out the rest of the day. It's the end of the day on Sunday. The show ends in about 10 minutes, but there's pretty much no one here right now for the show because everyone's getting ready for the, the Super Bowl game tonight. Ended up being an all right day today. The crowd was pretty light, which is kind of what I expected uh, because of COVID and everything and uh, the kind of iffy weather we've had, but it ended up being an all right show, nothing to complain about. Uh, one new thing about the show this year is that they charged an admission fee to the public to get into the show, and that's something that they've never done before. So I inquired about that and got a great answer from Aaron Jackson, who is the community engagement manager here for ArtFest Fort Myers. And she told me that assuming everything gets back to somewhat normal next year and there's nothing to worry about with COVID, they're going to go back to having this be a free festival for the public. And they really did not want to charge an admission fee but they did so to kind of limit the crowd size, which is normally a bad thing, but because of COVID, it's kind of a good thing. And uh, it also raises some more money for the festival because they had to hire extra people to clean the bathrooms and to keep the public areas clean, she explained to me. So I think that's a fair answer. And just want to reiterate that I'm very thankful for the way that they treated artists in a proactive way during the pandemic and sending out all that information that I spoke about earlier in this video. And uh, I'm very thankful for that and they should be recognized for that. So uh, I'm just going to go back. It's probably almost four o'clock now. Uh, I'll break down my booth, put it all on the median, and then they should allow us to drive into the show site once the streets are clear. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like I say at the end of all my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and follow me on social media on Instagram and Facebook. And you can see all of my artwork and my upcoming show schedule on my website. So thanks so much for watching.